This was moments before Caroline's fiance confessed to a killing and a cover up. The whole dynamic in the car felt awkward. And I was like, mm. pulled the car over and went, look, what is it? Like, you've literally asked me to marry you tonight. Then it was, give me your phone. Something really dark's happened here. And I said, look, what do you mean? He went, we killed a man a few years ago. That man was cancer survivor Tony Parsons, who'd been cycling for charity across the Highlands in 2017. For years, his disappearance here was a mystery. But Alexander McKellar dumped Tony in a shallow grave with dead animals. He then led Caroline to that very spot where she ditched this drinks can and called police. He literally just lights a cigarette and taps the ground and goes, here. And I just threw this Red Bull can over my right shoulder. Went back to pick it up. I crunched it into the ground because there's no other way you would ever know where that man was. How would you feel if there was someone out there who knew something about and they did nothing? Alexander's twin brother, Robert, helped dig the grave. The pair have been jailed for a total of 17 years. I have no doubt that Mr Parsons' family have been deeply affected by this. I have read and noted the terms of three victim impact statements made by members of his family, one by his widow, one by his daughter and one by his son. Their terms clearly indicate the profound, devastating and continuing impact of your actions on their lives. Police are now being investigated for potential criminality amid claims officers forced Caroline to spy on her ex for months before leaking her evidence to local gossips. And the guy behind the bar goes, do you want a Red Bull sugar-free like the gravesite? By doing the right thing, it's destroyed your life. They never saw me as a human. They never saw me as a professional. And they terrorised me. They intimidated me. While Caroline battles for better protection for witnesses, she's been offered 24 hour security and admits her family are terrified about what Alexander could do. Do you fear that he could harm you? 100%. And he... What, fear of your life? I think if he was drunk and intoxicated, yes. Police say they cannot comment as investigations continue. They're so grateful. <laughs> But without this woman, Tony may never have been found. Imagine giving someone their dad back. Connor Gillis, Sky News.